Hi guys. Um, I see that we may have a solution with Putin who can play good guy, bad guy. That's what the empires do. Um, you know, there's always someone to step in. It's a good, good guy, bad guy thing. Always has been, always will be. And, and they toy with your minds with this. However, I saw that we would probably go into Persia or Iran. We've got to keep killing people, of course. We're the military-industrial arm of this. There would be no paper to, me, to be made if we don't go into war. And I see that immigrants may be allowed to come into the U USA. Um, most nations call the empire builders immigrants. So I don't think you should set your mind to too much on that when America or the Americas were discovered the lands were actually supposed to be used for resources which they're being used for now um, that's before that constitution Europe had just ruined everything they owned everything they'd cut down most of their trees and I'm going to say Europe actually I'm going to say more like England and some of the other countries had just used all their resources in building structures to build their temples and their castles in because they're all wooden frame before they put the stone on and they'd use some of their forest up so bad that they had no ecosystem their rivers were poisoned and and so they came over to a place where the ecosystem was completely in harmony with the people and the people knew how to take care of it but those people were my people and um, and we were discovered and we were colonized and we were rejected and we were put into prisoner of war camps or we were tried they tried to exterminate us completely as is that's what we're doing across the world now this empire that was brought over from Spain and then to, from England because everybody came to the new world where the savages were the savages who could live in harmony with the earth who needed no book of instructions because everything was written in their heart how to treat one another came to conquer and so they thought they had after killing almost oh I've seen anywhere from 100 million to 150 million indigenous peoples in North America in the first 200 300 years um, they continued the killing. It's an ongoing war still. They call it right now, I think we're in the 500 year war, the longest holocaust or genocide in the history of mankind has been taking place in America. And now, you know, we've just reached out abroad to do it to other nations. You know, even Hitler said he took his way of doing things from the way America did the Native Americans but this really isn't about Native Americans and I don't play victim I'm alive I'm here I walk the red road I'm gonna focus on Persia or Iran looks like we will bypass Syria and go to Iran and for the life of me I can't understand what the Persian people did wrong I mean I really can't um, they've never hurt me and I actually had a neighbor once who was from Iran She's a very lovely lady, and she had two sons. One of her sons, this was in the 70s, dealt drugs, and the other one was a really cool dude. Um, they never said anything offensive to me. Um, they were kind of cool people, actually really cool people, because they didn't discriminate, um, because I was of a different color. They didn't discriminate against the whites either. Because, you know, I do live in a white person's world. Um, it's it's kind of hard sometimes because I see people saying, don't let the Mexicans come here. But the Mexicans, they're indigenous to their land. They used to trade with us all the time until the empires came. So for the life of me, I can't figure out. They may take your jobs, but you took our jobs. I'm not trying to say this meanly. You just have to see the pattern of things. So now you're where the Indians were. Now you can sit back and be bitter or you can 
stop the division and learn how to love and let's listen the empire so we can trade amongst ourselves with different nations if we could just turn our backs on the empires and the soldiers put their weapons down and if they do do a false flag call it out immediately wake people up and put the empires just sink them because it looks like they're they're they, they've had to go to Plan B, or maybe Plan B was the, always the alternative. They knew America had, had enough of war, so they used the good guy, bad guy strategy, and they're using, um, what, the Russian Putin, that the KGB guy, you know, the one who's as corrupt as all the rest of the empires. Um, I have no high praises for anybody in those positions in any country. Really, I don't. But to go and, and sanction and hurt the Persian people is just wrong. Just like it's wrong to hurt the people south of our border who are our neighbors who live under a corrupt empire and they just want to be, feel safe, although this isn't a very safe place to be. Um, it might be safer than where they live, but people put them down. I, I just don't understand. It's like, am I the only one seeing that we're all humanity? And we all need to learn from one another and respect one another with kindness. Is that not what the Creator or religions were supposed to be about? Our Jesus, this Christ figure that people talk about. He talked about loving one another. And I am not. Everybody knows I'm not a Christian. I have read his words. And he speaks of love and not hate. Yet all I see is hate out there. And it's not among you guys on this channel. I'm just hoping maybe it'll reach another channel. So now we go to Persia to blow them up, or maybe, or maybe it's a fear tactic, I don't know. It's hard to follow the empires. I think sometimes we, the people of the world, can change it. But it's, it's going to take an act of faith because I see, once I think we're getting united, someone will throw out something about immigration. Well, to me, you guys are immigrants anyway. But you're here, and there's nothing I can do about it. So behave properly and follow the instructions in your heart, and you're not an immigrant anymore. Because this land, I believe, was a perfect land at one time. This land you're on. Don't destroy it. Don't cut your grass. I mean, do you know the grass? That's like pulling the Mother Earth's hair out. These things are grown for a reason. Animals need to eat this. I mean, there are certain things I have problems with. Neat yards. I don't like driving by the big houses with their little neat yards and their flowers. When you can go into my garden that is full of weeds, and every one of the weeds are either medicinal or edible. It's very ironic that some of you people don't even know except what you've been kind of brainwashed into believing. And I'm probably not talking to anybody who watches these videos. Our garden is not neat and fancy, nor is my yard. Because I, I believe the wild animals should come and graze upon the blackberry bushes that are along the creeks. We don't cut them down to make the yard look pretty. The black bears need something to eat. The black bears don't hurt us. The deer need something to eat. The birds. And there's this number game going on. Everybody's equating things with numbers. I have to tell you something about cilantro. We had lots of cilantro this year, and when it goes to seeds, it turns into coriander. I think I'm saying that right. If you ever looked at the seeds and how they bunch up on it, there's three groups of six seeds on there. Six, six, six. People try to tell me that's a bad number, but yet it's one of the most valued plants in my garden. The one that produces seeds that have six, six, six on each stem because it's a cleansing. Cilantro cleanses your body of toxins. So I think you can put 666. I think people put their own symbols on certain things where 666, if I get a whole line of plants that have that 666 seed on there, I'm a happy camper because I know we'll have coriander and lots of cilantro next year which will help detox and cleanse our body from some of the poisons that we're being chemically poisoned with. I mean, so there's a rhyme and rhythm in nature. And I think people are taking numbers in, out of nature that is already there, patterns. 
and using them for something evil or saying they're something evil when they're really not. They're already here in nature and they've been here before we were here, in my opinion. As far as the people to the south of the border, as I said, we used to trade with them. Don't, don't hate on them. That's more division. You fell for the empire's tricks. If they can't get you to go into war, they're going to say immigration. Guess what? They're now calling Native Americans immigrants. That was kind of ironic, isn't it? The empires decided that the indigenous peoples in North America are immigrants. Well, that's not working out too well for them because we should have been exterminated. And it didn't happen. Somehow we prospered and our numbers are growing. Yeah, we're growing and we're growing against the empires and we want you to join us. But that would mean you would have to love everybody on this earth. Those instructions, they're written in your heart. They really are. And I, I just I just listened to, to somebody rant on immigration and stuff. And um, there's a song, after I watched that, I went to a Jethro Tull song and listened to Ian Anderson sing a song on Wind Up. It's called Wind Up. There's one line, and, and it talks about the Creator, God. And um, he says, um, in, in the one line, he says, um, He is a God of nothing, if that's all that you can see. But he is the God of everything because he's inside you and me. And um, I actually like that line of that song because um, he was in a Catholic school, Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, and uh, he figured it out. And he figured out that the rules were written in our heart. We didn't need an establishment or a book or anything else. It was written in our hearts and that it was a controlled, set up game. A game, an empire's game. Don't fall for it. We are all connected, all of us as human beings. Those people in the south of the border are hurting really bad, and it's our fault. It's our empire's fault that happened. We did the Fast and Furious. Women and children are dying. I mean, you've seen all the murders and stuff, yet you'll say you can't seek refuge in our country? Well, that's just criminal in my mind. We're humanity. We stand up for one another. Love one another. I mean, you say there's no jobs here? There is no jobs here. Maybe with some of those people who know the land a little better, you might learn a little bit of something. They know the right plants to eat. I've, I've met some of the Hispanic people around here. They actually can forage for themselves. They're very good with the land. They're very good farmers. And then we need good farmers, and they won't use, they, they're more organic than you think. So, see, there's things you can learn from some of these people. And if you want a job in America in the empire system, the really only jobs there are is some, I mean, they're corporate jobs. They're owned by, owned by the corporations, which America is a corporation. So, I mean, I know everybody's got to work and stuff, but... Don't put down another country that has signs saying come to the USA and they think they're welcome because there's all kind of signs all along in Mexico saying come and work for us. The, the Hispanics think that there's so many jobs here that, that they don't understand that you, you and I don't have a job. Um, so they think they're welcome. That was just like the same thing when they sent stuff to India, you know, the telemarketing jobs. I had talked to one on the phone and he said, but you guys had so many jobs we thought we were honoring you by helping you out they were honoring us they didn't know do you see the division now so you'll point your finger at a Hispanic or be mean to them and call them immigrants actually when we used to trade with them they weren't immigrants to us they were just part of the North America and Central America and South Americas which we traded with and that's been proven um, so now let's not do this anymore. Let's unite as a human race and let's stay out of Persia. No war, not in my name, with any country. That includes Mexico or any of those southern places from us. All humanity should connect and learn from one another. I mean, we really should. We really need to drop a lot of this controlled religion. I see the raptures coming around again. Thought it was going to come last year. 
I see this in a lot of places. Whoever is starting this, stop. Because you're dividing humanity. If it is something that's in your heart and you believe it's going to happen, leave it in your heart. But remember, those instructions were written on your heart. If your belief is when somebody preaching it from a pulpit, then it's their belief, not yours. You have to experience before you have the knowledge. And if you haven't experienced this, then you have no knowledge of what this person is saying. Um, that's what Indians have to do. Now, I've experienced the empire system, and I don't like it. And I don't like people dividing one another into pointing at another group saying, you can't be here. Why? I haven't pointed and said, you shouldn't be here. I think you should join us. I think everybody should join together as humanity. It's what the Creator insisted on, instructed us on, told us to take care of this place, our home, the earth, without destroying it, without having fancy yards and flowers hanging from the side. Leave the flowers where they belong, in the ground. Don't go and do some of this stuff. It's stupid. And you're ripping stuff out of Mother Earth that should never be ripped out. And I'm talking about the uranium and the mining and the oil. There's ways we all know. Hemp, for example, you could that would be energy for everybody. We've got to stop. All of us. We've got to unite. There's no war, not in my name, with any person on this earth. I'm not a victim. I'm not going to play a victim. I'm not going to point to somebody else and say they're not welcomed into humanity. Now, if they're fanatical and work for the empire system, they're not a part of humanity at all. They want to control humanity. Turn your backs on them. Banish them. They should be destroyed. And I'm not saying killing them, that just the empire system itself should be destroyed because it's all around fear and control. Never fear and don't live under the control. And I love you all. And no, I'm not high. Some people think I'm high. I just smudged myself. So I just wanted people to know that. And I love you all. Peace, love, and truth always. And remember, that person that you may be hating could save your life.